turn of praise there. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has me. That the Lord has me. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it.
But if you know he's worthy, shout hallelujah. Come on, that's right. I see hands lifted. Come on. If you know he's worthy, shout hallelujah. Come on, let's take a moment to tell you that he's worthy. Father, we thank you for being worthy. Father, we thank you for keeping us and for guiding us and for leading us and for protecting us. And we call you worthy. Worthy is the Lord slain to receive glory and honor, dominion and power, both now and forever. 
Come on, if you know he's worthy, come on, give him a worthy praise. We bless you, Jesus. We glorify you, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. For we are the ones that have returned to say thank you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your tender mercies. Thank you for protection. Thank you for danger seed and unseen. When we would have been swallowed up, when we could have been dead, cut off, it was your mercies that kept us. And we want to say thank you. We thank you. If we had 10,000 tongues, we could not thank you enough, oh God, but with the tongue that we do have. With the mouth that we do have, with the hands that we have, with the feet that we have, with the life that we live, God, we give you total praise. Come on, let's give a praise. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. That's it. Somebody shout hallelujah. I heard when the praises go up, the blessings come down. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you. Amen. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. For everybody ought to praise the Lord. Amen. Truly, we give honor and deference to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Who we call the Father in creation the Son in redemption, and the Holy Ghost in regeneration. And how many know that he's our God? Come on, can somebody make that personal, that he's my God? I don't know about you, but he's my God, and he's worthy of the praise. Amen. We thank God, amen, for the leadership of our house and the person, amen, of our apostle, amen, and pastor emeritus, our teaching pastor, amen. Can we thank God for amen for apostle Dr. Emeril McCoy, Sr., Amen. And his companion, our shepherd mother. Amen. And to all of the people of God, we thank God for our apostolic mother and for those that serve in co-laborship. Amen. Thank God. Amen. For our mother's board chair, mother. Amen. Missionary Yearwood. Amen. Thank God. Amen. For our first lady and worship leader. Amen. Lady McCoy leading us into worship. Amen. And we thank God. Amen. That our family is in the house. Our mother and our father are back with us. Can we thank God? Amen. For Mother and Deacon Stevens. Come on. Let's praise God for them. Come on, church. We can clap our hands better than that. God has brought them back into our midst. Amen. We honor them. And for our sister as well, we thank God for you. Come on. Let's thank God for our sister. We thank God for you and so glad. Amen. And we say welcome home. Amen. That's what I told him. Welcome home. Amen. And thank God for amen for Minister Steer who's in the house. Can we clap our hands for him? Amen. And thank God. Amen. For his friend as well. Amen. Can we clap? I didn't get the last name again. Sister Johnson, can we clap our hands for her? Amen. She was worshiping the Lord on today and I love to see a worshiper. Amen. And thank God. Amen. Amen. Well, it's time. Amen. Well, we'll say this, you know, that we are in, amen, a mission trip. Amen. Many of our congregants, I don't know how many, amen, went exactly, but it was about 30, amen, almost 40 individuals who, amen, traveled over to the Dominican Republic, amen, for our annual mission trip. Amen. And how many know, amen, that, amen, ministry is outside of these four walls. Amen. This is where we come to, amen, glean one from another, but true ministry, amen. That's why he says, go out into all the world and to preach the gospel, amen. And so they are there in the Dominican Republic, amen. I know some are watching us online, amen, and we greet those that are watching us, amen, and say praise the Lord, amen. But continue to pray for, amen, members, several members of our congregation, amen, who are in, the Dominican Republic, they are to be there until tomorrow, amen, and pray that God will give them traveling mercies, amen, as they, amen, come back home, amen, amen. Well, it's time to give in the house, amen, for we believe that it is more blessed to give than it is to receive, for giving is indeed a part of our worship unto the Lord, for the Lord requires of us, amen, that we would give not grudgingly nor of necessity, 
For God loveth a cheerful giver. Amen. And so we ask you to prepare yourselves to give on today. I don't know how the Lord has blessed you. Amen. But I do know the Lord has blessed you. Look at somebody and say, I know God has blessed you. Hallelujah. I don't know how good he's blessed you, but I can look at you and I can tell that God has been good to you. Amen. And God has been good to you. We invite you, amen, to give of your substance on today. That's monetarily. Amen. We know that God requires our time, our talent, and our treasure. Amen. And so we invite you to give on today. Amen. We want to thank those who give weekly, monthly, and yearly. Amen. To the building of God's kingdom here in this particular vineyard. Amen. And we want to say amen that your gifts are used. Amen. For the glory of God. Amen. And so if you're giving on today, you can do through, amen, here in the sanctuary where we'll take, amen, your physical, amen, donations. But if you're giving electronically, you can do so through Cash App, Money Sign, GRM Orlando. That's Money Sign, GRM Orlando. Or you can visit our website at refugearlando.com, amen, and we can receive your electronic, amen, contributions. Amen. If you're ready to give on today, let's stand all over the house. Hallelujah. We have a Gibbler's Declaration, amen, here at the house. This is what we say before we pray, amen. How many know that life and death lies in the power of your tongue, amen? And if you can believe it, amen, enough to speak it, God is faithful, amen, to bring it to pass. So let us recite this together. Because I am a tither and a giver, the windows of heaven are open to me, and God rebukes the devourer for my sake. I am blessed financially and receive a blessing that I cannot contain. I do not worry about lack, knowing God supplies all my needs richly and abundantly. Therefore, I'm able to sow freely and liberally, and I choose to sow cheerfully, generously, and bountifully, knowing I will reap bountifully. I have in abundance every favor and earthly blessings. All my needs are met, and I abound in every good work. Because I obey him, the Lord blesses everything I put my hand to. He grants me abundant prosperity. He makes me the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. The blessings of God are chasing me and overtaking me. Because God loves to see me prosper, I am believing him for a supernatural release of God's favor over every area of my life, jobs and better jobs. Checks in the mail, inheritance, secure investments, scholarships, creative ideas, finding money, healing of our spirit, soul, and body, deliverance to the captive, salvation to the lost, and an outpouring of the Holy Ghost. We are blessed, and we will be a blessing to others in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Father, we thank you now for this opportunity you've given us to sow Amen, into this fertile ground. Now, oh God, bless this seed, this time of sacrifice, that it be used for your will and for your glory. And God, we will give your name honor, praise, and glory, knowing that you are the God that shall supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. And we count it done in Jesus' name. And everyone say amen, amen, and amen. Come, let's give cheerfully into the house of the Lord. I 
Grab the Lord, hold it here, not there. For the rest, for the rest of my life, I'll serve him. The antenna, for the rest of my life, I'll trust him. Anybody know you'll trust him for the rest of I'll serve him. Come on, everybody, clap your hands and trade. I'll trust him. He's been so good, been so good to me. Oh, oh, set me free for the rest of my life. I'll say, oh, and I'll serve the Lord. I'll serve the Lord. Anybody call a servant? I'll serve the Lord. He's been so good to me. Die or count for a reason. On the solid ground. If you don't believe that I've been redeemed, just follow me down to Jordan Stream. Step, step, step in the water. The water was cold. It cheered my body, but not my soul. But many are the afflictions. The afflictions of the righteous. God, the Lord delivers them out of them all. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lead, and lead, not to your own understanding, but in all your ways. But, but in all your ways. But, but in all your Acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Hey, and he will direct your path. Hey, I'll serve the Lord. I'll serve the Lord. I'll serve the Lord. I'll serve the Lord. The Lord. Anybody come serve him. Anybody come serve him. That's why I clap my hands. That's why I pat my feet. That's why I wave my head. Cause you've been so good to me. I, 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 I got a praise from the top from the depth of my heart. I got a praise from the depth of the depth of my soul. I will bless the Lord. My whole times. Doesn't matter how I feel. It doesn't matter what's going on. Oh, I will. 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 Everybody give them a praise. 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 I'll serve the Lord. I'll serve the Lord. You've been so good to me. Hey, hey, hey. You've been so good to me. Hey, hey, hey. You've been so good to me. So, you've, been, you've been so good to me. Anybody want to serve him? Anybody want to serve him? Anybody want to serve him? Anybody want to Somebody ought to give a praise. Somebody ought to give a praise. Somebody ought to give a praise. When I think of the goodness, the goodness, the goodness of Jesus, I know he's done. And all he's done for me. 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 Every time I turn around, every time I turn around, every time I turn around, he keeps on blessing me. He keeps on making a way, making a way out with no way. He keeps on opening doors, he keeps on turning around. What the 
serve him. Amen. For the Bible says he's looking and searching for true worshipers that would worship him in what? Spirit and in truth. I don't know about you, but I personally declare that if I have to lose everything for the sake of Jesus Christ, I'm willing to lose it all. Glory to God. I'm willing to give because God's been that good to me. I don't know about you. Has he shown himself that strong and that true in your life? That I will give it up all for the sake of Jesus Christ. Because if I lose everything and I still have Jesus, I've got enough to start over again. Look at somebody and say, you got enough. Hallelujah. Come on, tell somebody, you got enough. If I lose the house, if I lose the car, I mean with Jesus. If I lose family and friends, my health, if I still have you on the inside, I got enough, Jesus. I got enough to do what you have called me to do. And so we give him praise today. Come on, clap your hands one more time. Come on, clap your hands. I feel the spirit of the Lord lifting. Come on, I feel the spirit of the Lord lifting, 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 lifting. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God today because he's a good God. I said we thank God today because he's a good God. Hallelujah. 
Let's go into the word of the Lord today. Hallelujah. First John, the fourth chapter. First John, four. we want to look at the fourth verse of that fourth chapter. First John chapter number four and verse four. Once you have it, let's stand all over the house. John chapter number four and verse number four, the word of the Lord says, ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in you. The world. Pray with me now. Father, in the name of Jesus, most holy, most righteous, most loving, most benevolent God, we thank you today. We thank you because your word declares that in everything we ought to give thanks. For this is your will concerning us in Christ Jesus. So God, we obey your word right now and we say thank you. We thank you for that which we understand and thank you for that which we do not understand. For you tell us in your word and through your word that all things work together. So we thank you today that all things are indeed working together for our good. Even though it does not feel good in this space, in this moment at times, God, we thank you that you're working it for our good. And so, Christ, we come now asking you to bless us as we go into this time of preaching. God, give us ears to hear, eyes to see, a heart to receive that which you would have us to do and to become. For your word declares, your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. So now, O oh God, illuminate our minds and our thoughts that we may see clearly that which you would have us to do, that we may follow you more nearly. For it is our desire to be found pleasing and acceptable in your sight. God, let the words of my mouth now and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, you are our strength and forever our redeemer. And we pray this in the name of he who was, he who is, and he who is to come, Jesus the Christ. And let everyone say amen. 
draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me this Lord by the power of grace divine let my soul look up with a steadfast hope and my will be lost in thine Time. Come on, if you want to be drawn nearer, just lift up your hands and say, draw me nearer. God, draw us nearer even now. Nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou, where thou hast died. Oh, draw have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I want to take as a subject from this our scripture lesson text found out of the first John fourth chapter and verse number four. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Come on, help me preach and look at somebody and say, neighbor, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That wasn't the right neighbor. I need you to raise your voice in the house. Come on, look at somebody else behind you or in front of you and say, neighbor, greater is he that is in you than he 
that is in the world. Somebody shout hallelujah. Beloved, I want to take for a few moments this opportunity to remind you of the times that we are living in. To really reset and refocus our understanding about where we are in this present day and age. And it's important to do that because life would have us moving at such a pace and such a rhythm that if we're not careful, we will not focus on anything but what, we, but, 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 but what we have going on. That if we're not careful and cognizant that we will go through years after years with not really acknowledging that we are placed in a context and in a system that is influencing us whether we want to recognize it or not. And so we are living in a time and an age where the Bible is very clear that if we are not listening to his voice, we will be easily distracted and deterred and in alignment with things that are not necessarily his will for our lives. If we're not careful, we will be doing good, but we will not be doing God. Hallelujah. I said again, we'll be doing good, but we won't be doing God. And God is looking for people who are not concerned with just doing good. But Lord, I want my will to be your will. I, I want my actions to align with your actions so that I am pleasing and acceptable in your sight. And some of us today, amen, we allow ourselves to be pleasing and acceptable in everybody else's sight. But for God, amen, we allow, amen, things to go undone because, amen, he knows our heart. Yes, he knows our heart. That's why, amen, he gives us opportunity to get it right. And so it's important that we don't take the grace of God for granted, but we allow ourselves to say, Lord, nevertheless, not my will but let your will be done in my life because I don't just want to do good I want to do God I want to do God in the morning God in the noonday God in the evening and if it costs me friends if it costs me family if it costs me job security as long as I know that I am in the will of God it does not matter what I lose matter of fact the Bible says you're not even worthy Amen. To put your hand to the plow unless you're willing to relinquish everything and give it over to the Lord. And so in the context that we are living in, beloved, amen, brother, amen, Jackson, Pastor Jackson, we're living in a context, amen, where, and this is not a political sermon, but it is a sermon to remind us where we are, where the leading candidate for the president of these United States of America has 40 felony charges against him. My God, today. Did you hear what I said, church? I said the leading candidate for the president of these United States of America has 40 felony charges against him. What? is it come to that the world that we are living in and the people that we are connected to feel that a man with 40 felony charges is fit to lead the nation I hear Deke saying God help us Hallelujah, glory to God. Amen. We're living in a context and in a world where there is so much deception that people rather believe a lie than they rather believe the truth. 
And church of God, if we're not careful, we will even become susceptible to those things. Amen. And so it is, amen, that God wants us to wake up. Just look at somebody and say, wake up. Hallelujah. This is not the time for you to be sleeping at the wheel. This is not the time for you to be putting things on the back burner. But this is the time for you to make sure that your calling and your election is sure. And that if God were to crack the sky right now, that you would be ready to receive him when he returns. Hallelujah. Anybody want to be rapture ready? Hallelujah. Some of us want to have our credits ready. And I'm good for that. And we want to be marriage ready. Hallelujah. We want to be job ready. But I'm looking to be rapture ready. That when Jesus comes, that I don't have to, amen, be like those that didn't have their lamps trimmed and burning, but I can say, I'm ready, Jesus. I'm ready to receive what you have for me. And if we're not careful, church, the enemy, hallelujah, will quickly deceive us. And we know, amen, you know, Amen, that, amen, they, they use the analogy, uh, amen, that it's not, uh, amen, uh, 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 the, 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 the one who is fast, uh, but rather the one, uh, amen, who is slow and steady, uh, amen. But that thing can be used against us uh, because the enemy is slow and steady. Uh, he's not going to come after you just, uh, amen, anyway, uh, but it's going to be just one thing after the other. It's just going to be, you're not praying like you used to pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You used to get up at 6 a.m. to pray, and now you're talking about, well, I get up at 6.30. It's just the easy things. Hallelujah. You used to fast, and I'm talking about myself. Hallelujah. Glory to God on Wednesdays. Hallelujah. But now you're talking about, well, my sugar low, and so I don't know if I can fast on the Wednesday. Look at somebody and say, it's the little things. You used to be on time for Sunday school. Hallelujah. The whole house had to be in time for Sunday school. Now you're talking about, well, hallelujah, the children were up late last night and I had to do what I had to do. Hallelujah. And it's the little things. That's how the enemy begins to take you off course. And God is saying in this season that I'm looking for people. Hallelujah who are not going to be bought out uh, by the enemy, uh, but who are going to say, uh, Lord, uh, I want to be where you are. Uh, I don't want to be where you were, uh, but I want to be where you are. Uh, for in your presence uh, is the fullness of joy, uh, and at your right hand there are pleasures evermore. Uh, amen. Let me give you this, and then I'll be gone. Uh, the difference is, uh, amen, between uh, being where God is uh, and where Excuse me. The difference is uh, being where God was uh, and where God is is a story uh, that we find uh, a man of uh, a man Abraham. Uh, if you remember, uh, Abraham, Abraham told uh, a man. God told Abraham uh, to take his son. Uh, then a man go sacrifice him uh, into the mountain. Uh, amen. And the Bible says, uh, Amen. That when Abraham got to the mountain, uh, Amen. He did want to do what God told him to do. Anybody ever been there? Amen. God done told you to do something and it sounds crazy. You want me to kill my only amen son, the son that you gave me? Amen. Not my only son, but my second son, the son that you gave me. And the Bible says that God requires of Abraham a hard thing. And so the Bible says that Abraham knowing who God was amen, decided to do what God said. I want to put a point in right there. When you know who God is, you can trust him all of the way. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I said when you know who God is, you can trust him all the way. Even when it sounds crazy, you can trust that whatever he said, he's going to make it good. And so the Bible says, amen, the difference again between where God is, was, and where God is, the Bible Bible says, amen, mother missionary, you would, when, amen, Abraham, amen, goes to kill, amen, our 
Isaac, his son. The Bible says that God speaks to Abraham and stops him and says, Abraham, there was a ram in the bush. Saints, that's the difference between understanding where God was and where God is. I know God told you to do some things, but what is God telling you to do right now? See, if Abraham would have kept what God said and not what God was saying, he would have killed his son. But how many know that I thank God for what he said, but I want to know what is God saying? How is he revealing himself? How is he making himself good? Because I want to be where God is. So, uh, amen, we find now, uh, amen, that, uh, amen, our text uh, is, uh, amen, a place, uh, amen, that God is telling and talking to the people of Israel. Uh, I mean, the people, uh, amen, of the church. Uh, amen, he's talking to the saints of God. Uh, amen, and begins to tell them, uh, amen, that I know that there are things that have come against you. Uh, hallelujah. I know there are things, uh, amen, and people, uh, who are, amen, making you feel like, uh, amen, you're not in the place uh, where you need to be. Uh, I know there are situations that have come up uh, who are making you doubt if uh, I am who I say I am. Uh, and the Bible says, uh, amen, that the writer uh, begins to tell, uh, amen, the children of God, uh, amen, about the circumstances that they are in. Uh, hallelujah. If you look in the Bible, uh, amen, in that first John the fourth chapter ha. glory to God ha. amen we hear ha. amen that the writer says beloved ha. believe ha. not every spirit ha. but try the spirits ha. whether they be of God ha. amen as I get ready to close ha. I want to remind you church ha. that everyone preaching Jesus ha. is not of Jesus ha. hallelujah ha. and just because they have a hoop and a holler huh? and just because they have a tongue huh? amen just because they have a look huh? the Bible says huh? there are many that are there who have a form of godliness huh? but they de deny the power huh? thereof huh? But look at somebody huh, and say, but God wants us with power. Huh? Not only a form of godliness, huh, but he wants us with power. Huh? He wants us with a lifestyle huh, that says, God, I trust you. Huh? Just not lip service, huh, but in word and in deed. Huh? Look at somebody and say, is your life in order? Huh? And so the Bible says, huh, he tells the children there huh, and the saints of God, huh, he says, believe not every spirit, uh, amen, but try the spirit uh, and see if the spirit is of God. Uh, because many false prophets uh, are gone out of the world. Uh, I want to tell you, church, uh, that we are living in a day uh, when there are false prophets in the earth. Uh, and if you're not careful, uh, you'll follow behind these false prophets. Uh, but God is looking for a people. Uh, who have their ear to his mouth uh, and who are willing to call right, right and wrong, wrong. Uh, I don't mean to offend nobody, uh, but hell is real uh, and there are consequences to you not following uh, what God said. Uh, and I, uh, I want to make heaven my home. Uh, look at somebody and say, and if anybody make it, uh, surely I will. Uh, he says to them, uh, amen, there are false prophets uh, that are come in the earth. Uh, and he begins to tell them, uh, and every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ uh, is come in the flesh uh, is not of God. Uh, that's why we call ourselves Jesus only. Uh, I don't care what they come and preach. Uh, if it ain't Jesus, uh, it ain't right. Uh, if it ain't Jesus, uh, it's nothing but another gospel huh? and the Bible says and if anybody huh, preach another gospel huh, he is a curse huh? let's just start that huh? look at somebody and say I'm Jesus only huh? Jesus in the morning huh? Jesus in the noonday huh? Jesus late at night
tonight. I said, look at somebody and say, I'm Jesus only. For there is a name that is above every name. That at the name, the name of Jesus, every knee has got to bow and every tongue has got to profess that he is Lord. I dare somebody just to get out of yourself. And when you begin to call on the name of Jesus, your situation has to change. Just begin to call on the name of Jesus and everything in your life has to align. Let's try it right now. Somebody ought to just cry Jesus. Somebody ought to just cry Jesus. Somebody ought to just cry Jesus. 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 And so the Bible says, as I get ready to take my seat, he begins to tell them, ye are of God, little children. Look at somebody and say, you are God. Come on, look at somebody and justify and tell them, you are God. And I don't care what the devil is trying to do in your life. I don't care what it's seems uh, it's trying to take you out uh, you are God uh, and if God uh, has called you uh, to get the right he's able uh, to bring you through uh, you want to look at somebody and say he's able uh, to do exceeding uh, and abundantly uh, above all uh, that you can ever ask or think uh, somebody say yes and so the Bible says, he says, you are of God, little children. Then he says, and you have overcome. I come to let you know tonight, church, you are an overcomer. Come on, look at somebody and say, you are an overcomer. Come on, y'all not looking at somebody. I'm almost through. I want you to put your big foot, your big pointing finger and wave it over somebody and say, I don't care what they said about you. You are an overcomer. I said you are an overcomer. I said you are an overcomer. I said you are an overcomer. You can overcome the lie. You can overcome the disappointment. You can overcome the setback. You can overcome the misunderstanding. He says you are an overcomer. He says because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And that's all I come to remind you is you have the power, you have the anointing, you have the understanding, and you have God on your side. And if God be for you, I said if God be for you, I don't care what demon in hell is trying to stop you. I don't care what demon in hell is trying to block you. Greater is he on the inside of me than he that is in the world. Somebody shall greater is in me. Somebody shall greater is in me. And that's why I'm going to give him the praise. That's why I'm going to give him the glory. That's why I'm going to give him the honor. For when I think of the goodness of Jesus and how I should have died, but greater was in me. How I should have been cut off, but greater was in me. How they thought I'd never make it, but greater was in me. He picked me up. He turned me around. He placed my feet on solid ground. And I got to give him the praise. 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 Let everything that have breath 
Give them the praise. Give them the praise. Give them the praise. Greater is he that is in you. Somebody say greater is in me. He says, I know, missionary master, I know the things are around you trying to stop you. But look at somebody else and say, you are an overcomer. Come on, tell somebody, you are an overcomer. I want you to minister. Everyone's standing. Go to find somebody. And I want you just to minister that to somebody. I don't know who God is going to direct you, but I want you just to go minister that word and tell them you are an overcomer. Some of you need to hug them and say it. Some of you need to rub their back and say it. But come on, tell them you are an overcomer. You are an overcomer. You are an overcomer. You are an overcomer. He says you are an overcomer. It won't always. He said you are an overcomer. Be like this. The Lord will perfect that concern me and you. He said, you are an overcomer. Everyone standing, we're going to get out of here. He said, but greater. He says, why are you overcomer? He says, Deacon Wright, you know what he said? Look at the text. He says, because. Because explain something. It's a word that gives light to an understanding. He says, you are an overcomer because, why? Greater is he that is within you than he that is in the world. Saints of God, I'm coming to tell you that in this season, these last days, there are going to be things that try to take you over. There are going to be things that try to make you doubt who God is in your life. Situations and circumstances to make you feel that I'll never get to the place that God would have me to be. But how many know that's greater for you? Come on, I said, how many know that's greater for you? I mean, how many know that said that's greater for you? He says, you're an overcomer. Because greater, because greater, because greater is he. And I want to give you this, and I know it's simple, but I want to remind you. I'm so glad that God tells the truth. I said, I'm so glad that God tells the truth. See, some of us. We don't want to tell the truth. But Deacon Wright, if you look at the text in its totality and significance, he didn't say that that which is coming against you is not great. See, some of us want to deny the attacks that are coming. Oh, oh it's not all of that. Yes, it is. We want to we want to we want to dummy down the fact that I'm feeling depressed and let people tell her, "Oh, you'll get over it." No. I'm hurting. No. I don't feel like saying hallelujah. Cuz it's great. Look at somebody and say, "What I'm going through is great." <laughs> what I'm going through is great. I'm so glad that he acknowledges that, yes, you're going through. But he says, but greater. Hallelujah. I know what you're dealing with is great, but greater. That ER on it, amen, gives a denotion that it's bigger than. Hallelujah. When something is greater, it has more power than. So just remind yourself that even though what I'm going through is great, and yes, it is hard. Yes, it is difficult. But greater. But greater is he that is on the inside. 
And this is why I like that. He didn't say that's at the church. Glory to God. He didn't say at the convention. He didn't say at the next revival. He said, it on the inside of you, look at somebody and say, it's on the inside of you. So the next time that enemy starts uh, waving his ugly head, uh, just call on that greater that's already on the inside. It's on the inside. It's on the inside. It's on the inside. It's on the inside. Everything that I need everything that I desire, everything that I have need of, greater lives on the inside than he that is in the world. Come on, let's worship him. Every hand's lifted up. Come on, worship him. Begin to thank him. Come on, if you receive the word of the Lord today, come on, begin to thank him. Come on, begin to thank him. 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 Come on, let's worship him. Come on, everyone. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, out of your soul, out of your mind, out of your spirit. Hey, my God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. Awesome and power, our God. Our God, come on, let's say, our God is greater. Our God is great. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than me. Our God is awesome and power. Our God, our God. One more time. Our God is greater, son. Our God is great. Our God is stronger. Our God is, Lord, you're higher than in you. Oh, Lord. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God, our God, I like this part. It says, oh, and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand the gods? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what? And if our God is for us, say, and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand the gods? Come on, give them praise. Nothing can stand against you. Then what can stand against you? One more time, let's worship him. Our God is greater. Come on, everyone say, our God. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. Awesome our God is He, our God is He, awesome in power. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Come on, say it. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Let's pray. Father, we thank you right now. God, we thank you for the power that you have given us through the name of Jesus. And Father, we come on behalf of your people that have their hands lifted up to you, Jesus. God, we lift up our hands as a sign of surrenderance. God, and we say, nevertheless, not our wills, but let your will be done. And Father, right now, we pray in the name of Jesus that every tactic, every hindrance, every setback, every roadblock, we cast it now down in the name of Jesus, and we tread upon it under our feet. Father, for we declare that your word has already called us an overcomer because greater 
is he that is on the inside of us uh, than he that is in the world. Uh, so God, go to that secret place in our heart, uh, that great place in that heart, uh, that great strong place in our heart, uh, and we say greater. Uh, we say greater. Uh, we're stronger than this. Uh, we're better than this. Uh, we're bigger than this. Uh, we have more power than this. Uh, Satan, the blood of Jesus be against you. Uh, you will not have our minds. Uh, you will not have our families. Uh, you will not have our bodies. Uh, you will not have our communities uh, because you have called us uh, to a higher purpose. Uh, you have called us uh, to a greater understanding. Uh, and so, God, uh, before the battle is over, uh, we're going to shout. Uh, before the battle is over, uh, we're going to give you praise. Uh, before the battle is over, uh, we're going to give you honor uh, because uh, greater uh, is he uh, that is on the inside of us uh, than he that is in the world. Uh, and we give you praise. 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 Uh, come on, if you believe it, give a praise. Uh, all over the house. Uh, give a praise. Uh, give a praise. One more time. Our God. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. Awesome and power, our God, our God, he's our God. Now, if you believe it, give him a praise right there. Come on, give him a praise right there. Come on, give him a praise right there. Come on, give him a praise. I feel this. I've got a feeling everything's going to be all right. Oh, I've got a feeling everything's going to be all right. Come on, anybody feel like that? Oh, I've got a feeling everything is going to be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Come on, somebody say, Jesus told me, Jesus told me, everything is going to be all right. Oh, Jesus. Come on, anybody know that Jesus told you, everything is going to be all right. Oh, Jesus told me, everything is going to be all right. Be all right, be all right. Be all right. It's a little slow, but I'll take it. Be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Be all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. If you believe it's going to be all right, just wave your hands and say, all right. All right. All right. intercessory prayer with our pastor, Pastor Marcus Rule McCoy Jr. That dial in, amen, yes, amen. <laughs> that dial in number, 
3-7. Tuesday at 7.30 p.m., join us for our Refuel Bible Study with Apostle Dr. M. Rule McCoy, Sr. Amen. Wednesday, please remember to fast and pray. Our corporate fast is from 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. Sunday, join us for Academy of Excellence at 10.30 a.m. in person or by conference call. That dial-in number, 520-537-5237. Let's grow together. Our noonday worship experience is at 12 noon. Services are in person. Advanced announcements. Please join Apostle M. Rule McCoy Sr. and Region 10 for our 2024 conference. The theme, Do Justice, Love, Mercy, Come Home, Revival, Reconnection, and Renewal. The date, February 22nd through February 24th, 2024, at the Refuge Temple Lakeland Campus. Birthday celebrations for the week of December 17th through December 30th, 2023. Celebrating December 23rd, Sister Shantae Lloyd. Also celebrating December 23rd, Sister Precious McCoy. December 26th, Missionary Beatrice Massey. And celebrating December 28th, Brother Sean and Brother Ron Howard. Anniversary celebrations. Brother Michael McCoy Sr. and Sister Christine McCoy celebrating three years of marriage on December 20th. Please continue to pray for all on the prayer list. I thank you for your attention to the announcements. Please govern yourselves accordingly. God bless. Amen. Let's thank Missionary Massey, amen, for keeping us abreast of our kingdom assignments. Amen. And thank God, amen, that our family is back in the house with us. Amen. I praise God. Amen. And I'm going to, amen, Brother Fieldon stood up and clapped. He's happy to have his grandparents. <laughs> amen. With us. I'm going to give space and opportunity, amen, for Mother and Deke, amen, and our sister just to, amen, say any words or anything they want to greet us, amen. I just want to hear their voices, amen, on today. And so we're going to, amen, give them a mic. Mic check, one, two, yes. Amen. And, and then after that, we're going to ask Minister Steer just to, amen, greet us. And Sister Johnson, amen, if she wants to say anything, amen. It's good to when the family is back together, amen. 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 And so we want to, amen, honor them in the, in the presence of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord all the time. Hallelujah. He, hallelujah. We can't praise him enough. I just thank and praise the Lord for being in your midst. My second church home is right here. My first one, of course, I have to 
uh, Bible wing is my first one. Right here is my second. I mean, I can feel the love that you all have, uh, not necessarily to me, but one another. I mean, the love is here. You can feel it. You can feel the, the quietness, hallelujah, that quiet love, hallelujah, that expands all of you, all through you, hallelujah. You know the Holy Ghost is on board. And I just ask you to continue to pray for me that I grow stronger in the Lord and that I'll be pleasing in his sight. Praise the Lord, Greater Refuge. I praise God for being here, and I'm just going to say to God be the glory. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I give God thanks and praise for once more to be in this assembly. As I can say, this is assembly is the first assembly I visit when I come into Orlando. And I thank God for Bishop Russ open his door, Bishop uh, Hillary open his door for me that I could come here and be the Sunday school superintendent. And they are the one which ordained me as a minister for the Lord. Every time I think about the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul continues to cry out more and more every day. As what even the scripture which was read, that a scripture which each and every one of us to look into. God are looking for chosen people. Not people who are think about the world. Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added unto us. I can tell you that many a time I go through many griefs and pain and sorrow. For as you all know, I lost my wife in 2021 and up to even last week I lost a sister last month I lost a sister in Jamaica and I know sometimes when my heart grieves I just look unto God and say God you are my light and my salvation I said when the enemy come upon me to heat up my flesh they all shall stumble and fall for you know, God, when we reach, and I look in life many times when Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was traveled to a foreign country. And when they traveled to the foreign country, and when the king said, if you hear the sound of the timbrel and the sound of the harp, bow down and worship him. But I know that I'm not worshiping no man. I worship the true and living God. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of every one of the prophets which has gone on before us. I worship him. We are this time of the year are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. When he said, go ye on to the world and know that Jesus Christ is born. He did not go to the king, he did not go to the priest, but he went to the wise men which was out in the field watching flock over the sheep by night. And he said, fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. For unto us is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. One God and one faith. And I thank you all for having my friend here with me. She's become like almost... We are not married, but she has come just like a wife to me right now. She has encouraged me. And I tell you all that God is surely blessing me. He's blessing me for even my children them. I got two sons, and they are driving tractor trailer up north and all over the country. And I tell, God, I tell them every day, I said, put everything in God's hand. For he never leave us. And he never forsake us. And I thank you all. And I thank our great old bishop in his absence. And may God bless him as he do in the 
over in another country his work. For I say, go into all the world, preach his gospel, observe his name. For this world today, we need Jesus. We need God. And as what he said about even the prime minister, the, the, the one that they want right now to be our leader. I'm going to tell you all right now, men are gone to itching ears. They just want to hear you say something. They fall for it. I greet you all, and uh, this is all I have to say at this moment. Amen. 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 God bless. Sister Johnson. Praise the Lord. I am happy to be at Great Refuge, and I always encourage Mr. Sayer that he wants to go on church on Sunday. But he said today he wants to make a surprise and visit you guys today, so I'll just be with him. So once again, I greatly appreciate you guys, and I thank the Lord that I can be in the house today. That's all I have to say. Thank you. God bless you. Yes, what a wonderful surprise it was, amen, to have you worship with us. And we look forward to worshiping with you, amen, in the days and weeks and years to come. Amen. Amen. Is there anything else? Amen. Pray one for another. Please remember those who are traveling, amen, the family that is traveling, amen, back, amen, to the states, amen, that God give them Amen. Travel the mercies. Amen. Amen. Let's stand all over the house. Amen. Next Sunday. Praise the Lord, everyone. Just as a friendly reminder, uh, next Sunday is Christmas Eve, and we still will have service. Um, it'll probably be more of a condensed service. Amen. But uh, we will have service. Um, also, for watch night, oh, Lord Jesus, take away my <laughs> uh, For our crossover service, following after, we will be eating in fellowship. Um, for those who will be joining us, we do ask that you give a donation of some sort. Whatever you have, we're not going to put no number to it, but whatever. My friend, it's Pastor McCoy. I would like to take this time to cordially invite both you and your family to worship with us every Sunday at 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. You can find more about our ministry at www.refugeorlando.com. We would also like to invite you to text the word GRM to the number 33222. That's GRM to 33222 to receive updates about our ministry. We look forward to seeing you and remember, Refuge is your place of safety.